morning and welcome. Remember this day. Remember this day, for this is the start of something. For more than 100 years, Australia has had an industrial relations system that has given working people a share of the benefits of economic prosperity in the good times and ensured that there are decent protections for people when times get tough. This is the system the federal government's workplace laws will destroy. We must not be the first generation of Australians who leaves our kids with fewer rights at work than we inherited. And we won't be. Today, we are standing up for the values that shape the way we care about each other, the way we care about time for our families and care about a nation that balances prosperity with our great way of life. In every corner of Australia, people are standing together to oppose the government's industrial relations laws and the attack that they represent on our living standards and our community and family life. Let's listen to what some of Australia's most senior religious leaders think of the government's industrial relations laws. We always pray to be governed quietly and wisely, but this is a disturbing and an unwise piece of legislation. We want to see that the rights of workers are safeguarded and that the human dignity of each worker is protected. I'm certainly not supporting, not a supporter of a radical weakening of the, the unions. I think that's gone far enough. Why do we have to say to long-term unemployed people, the only way in which you're going to get a job is by sacrificing weekends, public holidays, meal breaks, the Fair Pay Commission does not have to think about the needs of the low paid or what constitutes a living wage. There will be a serious erosion of human rights and of living standards because of this. Each one of us should feel that individually we have worth and add value to society, that we're seen as individuals and not just seen as productive forces towards a profit margin and a final balance line. We want to get back to building the Commonwealth together in collaboration between fine employers and their employees. And so the government should withdraw this legislation, consult more widely, and come back planning how we can build a better and a fairer Australia together. of what this government was planning. And the government said we were wrong. Wait for the detail, they said. Then they put out the policy, and it was worse than we had anticipated, and they knew it. For they spent $55 million of our money trying to convince us that everything was okay. $55 million of our money trying to convince us that everything was okay. Well, the laws have now been released and they are much worse than we feared. They will strip away what has taken over 100 years to build. The government's tried to hide the facts. They have called their IR laws work choices. Work choices. Rubbish. Deceitful rubbish. Here are five important facts that they can't hide. One, the laws attack job security by abolishing unfair dismissal protection for millions of workers, potentially every worker in Australia. Two, the laws will 
will destroy our unique system of awards as safety nets of pay and conditions. Three, the laws will allow employers to cut take-home pay. Four, the laws will let the value of minimum wages fall. And five, the laws will crack down on unions and collective bargaining. In John Howard's Australia, the employers will have all of the power, and you know the truth, workers are to be signed up to individual contracts. None of our conditions will be safe. Penalty rates, public holotype, none of our conditions will be safe. Penalty rates, public holidays, overtime pay, control over rostered hours, shift penalties, even our four weeks annual leave. John Howard, our Prime Minister, is putting it all up for grabs.